Hello world of YouTube. So I am back to bring you yet another Crested Gecko enclosure video. Um, a lot of people liked my first one, so uh, i got a lot going on with them now. So thought I'd do an update on them. Uh, I'll go ahead and start over here with my uh, dark chocolate Harlequin. Uh, he's going to be tricky to see at the moment. He's way back there in the corner. You can kind of see him. But not really. But uh, anyway, this is also going to be kind of a product review on the... Uh, thing you see right here, so we'll get to that. Uh, this one's a pretty basic setup. Uh, Cressids are on a cocoa fight, or uh, the uh, cocoa husk. Um, got uh, exoterra vines in here, twisted up to shape, kind of runs to the top here, and uh, you can kind of see it goes around like a circular kind of pattern, gives them a nice uh, treetop feel. Uh, got a vine right here, just wraps all the way around it. Uh, a lot of little nooks and crannies for them to hide in plant down there in the center. And then uh, this here, newest decoration, is uh, by Mag Naturals, and um, it, this is the feeding and water ledge. Uh, as you can see, there's a reservoir here, and these little Dixie cups fit right in there, and you uh, water food on one side, and they're an absolutely great product. They're awesome. Uh, originally, I got them because this little guy does not like to go to the ground whatsoever, and he essentially wasn't eating his food. I had to put it on the tip of my finger and let him eat it off my finger or a butter knife, whatever, and I was like, you know, I can't have him doing that his whole life, so decided to uh, find something to, that'll work, and uh, he uses the ledge, and it's awesome, and uh, looks great in the cage. I mean, he gives him a nice little place to, there he is, climb around on, and uh, there he goes, gives him a nice little place to climb around on, and uh, looks good, so, yeah. So we'll move on. His cage is pretty basic. He'll get an update cage, upgraded cage, you know, once he gets bigger. But there's tons of places for him to hide in right now, so it's no big deal. All right, moving on here. Light is kind of bad in this cage. I don't have a fluorescent light. It's just a standard 25-watt bulb. Since your crests do not need very much heat, it's hard finding a bulb that does not emit a lot of heat. Uh, again, uh, cocoa husk substrate. Got a fern down there, kind of basically just to build up the bottom. There's a little tip of my uh, orange tiger flame's head. You see him right there. And my harlequin is actually on the move right now up here. There, there he is. Get in here. Yeah, they're shy sometimes. Anyway, uh, got some exoterra vines, a few of them here, different sizes. They all twisted up to shape. As you can see they're wrapped just all the way across top in the center. Just filling out space, getting them something to chill out on. Uh, these vines here wraps around the top. Uh, great prod. I really like these vines. Uh, big leaves. Gives them a lot of hiding spots. This is actually Tips. My Harlequin went up there. He sleeps behind this leaf in this little pile every night. Or every day, excuse me, since I'm nocturnal. But Alright, and uh, of course, there's the Mag Naturals ledge for this cage. Feeding ledge here. Uh, two reservoirs. Just got the water dish in there right now since I only feed uh, every two days. So, we'll get fed tonight. Over here is the mushroom version. Probably this is just supposed to be like you know like a tree mushroom, whatever. But uh, it's there. And then down here got the uh, rock ledge design. So I can get a better shot. There you go. And it's got a plant kind of locking it a little bit. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, rock design. So uh, really awesome. Gives them a lot of little you know little ledges. They look great in the cage, and they're held on by magnets. Back here you can see these things right here. And uh, powerful magnets. I mean, really powerful magnets, so nothing's gonna fall. And they're actually designed for crested geckos. So I mean, I think it's you got crested and you want to add your, you know, give your cage a little bit of a spice. You know, give them something to hang out on. Mag Naturals. You can get them off Amazon, eBay, whatever. They're an awesome product. So um, move this here. So you need a better look. I don't know why they like this thing a lot. It's just like a chain link kind of leaf design, but they absolutely love it. They hang out on it all the time. <laughs> So there you can kind of get a little bit better of a view, how that's kind of looks from the viewing eye, I guess. So yeah, so uh, before we cut this video out, I'm trying to not make it so long so I'm not boring you guys, I'm going to do a little tutorial on the cups here. Okay, now, oh, just dropped it. These are the cups that the, uh, the uh, ledges up there are going to come with. These are two ounce Dixie cups and they're uh, plastic. 
Now these are okay, um, but if you have smaller crusted, such as my uh, dark chocolate over there, um, these they're gonna have to stick their head a lot farther in to get whatever's in there, whether it be the water or the food. So my kind of sorry guys, uh, my kind of uh, idea was I use these. These are ounce and a half Dixie cups, um, and they're the same diameter. So they'll fit those reservoirs up absolutely perfectly, no problem whatsoever. And uh, they're shallower, so they don't have to stick their heads far down to get the food. Um, like I said, larger crescents, not a problem. The smaller ones, you may want to look into it. Personally, I use these for uh, you know, all three of my crusteds. Um, I just think it works out a lot better. You can order these. Uh, full sleeve is like 200 for 5 bucks off Pangaea Reptiles, or eBay, whatever. Or you can get them some restaurants. Like these particular ones came from... Uh, a uh, Culver's restaurant and I just snatched them while I was in there eating and uh, they were great so it's really up to you but I personally feel that these uh, are better so and they fit great so yeah but totally up to you so um, it makes it a lot easier to clean bowls anyone that's worked with the Crested Gecko diet knows that it's kind of a messy thing to do and you just you know, lift these right out drop them right back in works great so definitely a good product I'd uh, definitely look into it if you got crested you know and you're trying to give them you know a nice look to the enclosure and something they can actually benefit from for climbing and everything else so hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, like I always said I'm trying not to rush it too much but I feel that sometimes my videos get a little bit boring so kind of long I, mean, I could talk forever about my animals I just you know it's definitely a passion I love to do it so uh, but all right um, I will have a entire ball python collection update coming soon. I've been trying to get everything I need settled so it doesn't look like clustered and everything. And I've been trying to get all my uh, all my utilities, you know, all the racks and everything I'm going to need, including hatchling racks. So uh, I promise it's coming soon, and I promise I'll make it awesome. It'll be you know great. You guys will love it. Just hang in there. All right. So uh, comments would be great. Any questions about mag naturals or crested geckos or just comments in general would be awesome. I look forward to answering them. I'll help you guys out and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot. Bye.